Hi guys, today we are going to solve a greedy algorithm and this hacker rank challenge is called minimum absolute difference in an array. So we are going to receive an array like what they have here. You can see uh, negative two, two, and then four. And we are supposed to return the minimum absolute difference between the elements in uh, the array. So let's say again, we have this array right here. We could create three pairs of numbers. So we could have negative two and two, which would give us four for the absolute difference. We could have negative two and four, which would give us six for the absolute difference. And we could also have two and four, which would give us two for the um, absolute difference. So definitely the pair of two and four, which gives us two, gives us the minimum absolute difference in the array. So that's what we'll be supposed to return. Let's say this is the input here. This is another example. We would have three numbers. So three, negative seven, and then zero. And we could have this pair, um, three and negative seven. We could have three and zero. And we could also have negative seven and zero. So definitely three here is the minimum absolute difference in the array. So we would simply return three right here. Another example is what they have here. And this is a bit longer to explain, but you get the idea. We would simply need to return this number one because negative 54 and negative 53 have an absolute difference of one which is the minimum in this array. So I'm going to start coding uh, very soon, but before I do, I want to explain to you the logic here. So let's say we are given an array like this. It's a bit difficult to solve this in linear time if you are checking uh, number by number. So we could have one and three, which is uh, two, then we could check three and negative three, which is uh, six and so on. And then we'll probably have to loop through that array again to check for other possible pairs and confirm that whatever absolute uh, minimum difference that we have is in fact the uh, the minimum that we can possibly find in this array. Now, this is not very effective. So the best thing to do here, since we are allowed to do that, is to sort the array first. So that if I check negative three and one, I will get four. If I check this one, one and three, I get two. So for now, I will assume that two is the minimum absolute difference in the array. Then I could check three and seven, that will give me four. And finally, I could check seven and eight, and that will give me one. So one is in fact the minimum absolute difference in that array. But the reason why the sorting here is so important is because there is no way this difference here is going to be greater than the difference between negative three and three, for instance, or negative three and seven, because it's all sorted. So definitely every contiguous element in that array is going to have the minimum possible uh, difference for any possible pairs. So once we sort them, we can simply check one item against its neighbor item and store that to compare with the rest of the array. So to make this clearer for you guys, I'm going to start coding. The first thing I will do is use the sort function in C++ and I'm going to pass it the beginning of my array. So that will return me an iterator and also the ends of the array. So again, before I do that, I like to pass my parameters as references. And now I'm going to assume that the first two elements in my array are giving me the minimum absolute difference. So I'm going to say int diff equals r0 or one, but I can have this as abs just like that so that I get the absolute difference. Now I'm going to loop through my, um, array or my vector in reverse order. So I'm going to say int i equals, so long as i is greater than or equal to zero, then I want to decrease i. And I want to check if the absolute difference between the current element in the array and the one right before it, because I'm reading it backwards, is less than the current difference that I have, then I want to update the value of my difference by saying this right here. So the absolute difference between in this case, eight and seven would be one. So I would check it and then I would store one as my current uh, minimum absolute difference. Then I would check this, that would be four. So I ignore, then I would check this. It is also, uh, this one is two, so I would ignore. And this one is four, so I would ignore. And then when I'm done, I simply have to return the difference. All right, so that's it for the code in this video. Let's now run this program and we pass all the test cases. So now I'm going to submit this code. 
and we also passed all the test cases. All right, so that's it for this hacker rank challenge. It was a greedy algorithm. If you guys liked it, please make sure you subscribe, turn on your notifications, give this video a thumbs up, drop your comments, and I will catch you next time. Bye.